after 19 weeks, we come to the end of Mass? Or do we really come to the end of Mass? Mass, when we look at it in Latin, Missa, from which we get the word Mass, means to be sent out. While we tend to see the dismissal as the end of what we just did, it's actually the beginning of something else. So let me explain that. At the end of each major section of Mass, the introductory rites, the liturgy of the word, and the liturgy of the Eucharist, we say, Amen. But at the beginning of each of these sections, the priest says, the Lord be with you. So if Amen is the ending, then the Lord be with you is another beginning. But the beginning of what? Of the great sending that Christ has given us. We are called to imitate Christ and be Christ to others. Just as Jesus said, as Jesus said to each of us, as the Father has sent me, so I have sent you. This is why we come to Mass, to be nourished by word and sacrament, and strengthened by these sent into the world. It is from Mass to mission. Here is what one of the church documents says. The prayer after communion and the concluding rite, the final blessing and the dismissal, need to be better valued and appreciated so that all who have shared in the Eucharist may come to a deeper sense of the responsibility which is entrusted to them. Once the assembly disperses, Christ's disciples return to their everyday surroundings with the commitment to make their whole life a gift, a spiritual sacrifice pleasing to God. They feel indebted to their brothers and sisters because of what they have received in the celebration not unlike the disciples of Emmaus, who once they had recognized the risen Christ in the breaking of the bread, felt the need to return immediately to share with their brothers and sisters the joy of meeting the Lord. This is why we come to Mass, to be sent after being strengthened for the mission which is given to us by Christ. It comes from Christ's own mouth. Let's talk briefly about the words and actions that are used in this most important sending. The priest says, the Lord be with you, and the people respond, and with your spirit. This is the same formula that we hear at the beginning of Mass, at the Gospel, at the beginning of the Eucharistic prayer, at the preparation for communion, and now at this missal. Remember what this dialogue means. It's not a simple greeting, but the people are addressing the priest not as a person, but their transformation and ordination, that they are in the person of Christ. And this greeting emphasizes the importance of the blessing also. The greeting serves to remind the faithful that they are the church of God gathered under the head, Christ the bridegroom. The final blessing is received so that the faithful are able to transform their lives. And then the priest gives the final blessing, making the sign of the cross over the people as they sign themselves. This final sign of the cross that we receive and also sign ourselves, calls to mind that the blessing comes to us through Christ's sacrifice on the cross, which has reconciled us to God the Father. After the blessing is our ascending, from mass to mission. All of the dismissals begin with the word go. This word go emphasizes that we are being sent in the name of Christ through the Holy Spirit and on behalf of our Heavenly Father. It is important that the church empties out after Mass. If you want to talk, go outside, go to the new narthex. But the emptying out of the church after Mass we have been sent shows that just as Christ emptied himself and gave himself for us, so too the church empties itself after being strengthened in word and sacrament. And so it ends. And so it begins as we live out our vocation to be good Christians, literally little Christs, to be good Christians to all we meet. May we always be thankful for the gift of Mass. May we always be grateful for Christ in our midst. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go now in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.